Shikura Kokonatsu is dreaming of one day becoming a mangaka or a manga artist. His father not completely discouraging the boy's idea or his art, but wishing he wouldn't glorify the female lead too much. But his father, Yu Shikura, is hard stuck on him taking over the family business when he retires. This being the family candy store, being the Dagashi shop, Shikura one day meets Hotaru Shidari, a beautiful and abnormal busty young lady who's well versed in other cultures, being Kokonatsu's dream girl, the same girl in his actual manga. The girl has a habit of creating flirtatious and sometimes provocative misunderstandings. The young lady's father asked her to bring you or Yo to join her family candy conglomerate. Shikura Sr. refuses the offer, wanting to pass down his shop to Kokonatsu, but if he doesn't inherit it, he would have to continue working at the shop. Hearing this, Hotro decides she wouldn't leave until he takes over the shop, making a deal to convince Kokonatsu to take over the shop so Yo can work for her family. In a cafe shop, Kokonatsu talks to Tua Endo and his sister, Saya Endo, going by the nickname Coconuts, telling them about Hotaru without mentioning her actual name. Saya becomes increasingly angered with Kokonatsu in a passive-aggressive manner, Toa taunting his sister and how she has a major crush on Kokonatsu, with him being unaware of this. On the way to the store, Saya encounters Hotaru, they're being drenched in mud, so she lets the girl take a bath at their house, with Toa getting a good look at Hotaru, Hotaru lacking all manners of modesty. Hotaru comes back the next day to the candy shop to eat some candy in a unintentionally sexual way, and then gets drunk on some non-alcoholic beers and eating bizarre snacks, eventually passing out, but doing this all while explaining the origin of the said candy. While out of the store, Kokonatsu and Saya meet up to hang out, hearing a strange noise. This being Hotaru, candy she's eating allows her to whistle very well, with her later telling a story about the snack, with it also being a meeting with Kokonatsu taking over the shop, turning into a full-blown argument, but Kokonatsu defending his dream, Saya not wanting him to leave, agrees with Hotaru and runs the shop. The argument is diffused by one of Hotaru's antics, with a game of manga cards, Saya learning that she's a prodigy at the game, and Hotaru recognizing her as her master. Hotori and Toa come to make pork bone broth soup with the heater. Toa, however, is about to pass out. Kokonatsu wants them to stop so he can get some help, with Toa refusing to do so, with admitting he's only here for one reason to fantasize about Hotaru. With how hot it's becoming, Toa calls out for a pool episode, doing this to see beautiful women at the pool. They learn that Yo has been working as a lifeguard at the pool to make ends meet. Hearing this, Coconuts accepts to watch over the shop some more to help out his dad, but this was actually a secret plan by Yo and Hotaru to make Kokonatsu feel bad and take over the shop. However, this plan backfires because they set Kuma Kuma Boy Jelly into the pool, with Saya breaking the news that they can't actually eat the candy because no foods or drinks are allowed in the facility. Being the sign, Hotaru forgot to get Rid of. Earlier the next morning, Hotaru comes into the Tagashi shop looking for coconuts, only to find Toa working it. Hotaru is waiting for him to come back, so she starts to ask Toa his favorite candy in the Tagashi shop, but is perplexingly stumped by the question, and when he replies with I can't decide, Toa decides to reverse the question on her, asking her what her favorite candy is. Thinking that she gave the perfect answers, she says she loves all Tagashi equally, but could not narrow it down by genre. Making Toa respond with, you must think that all the candy are just equal, or just okay. Taking this as a challenge, Hotaru takes the candy Toa is eating the wrong way, and does a perfect pitch release. Coconuts walks in, to having little to no context. Hotaru goes to the cafe, where two iced coffees to enjoy with Saya. Hotaru wanted to have a girl talk with Saya, Saya being excited to have one. Hotaru asked her about Kokonatsu, and how they know each other. Saya reading into the situation a little bit too much, thinks that Hotaru has feelings for Kokonatsu, with Hotaru just wanting to play a 7 Neon game, and only asking because she noticed that she doesn't eat candy very often. The next day in the candy shop, Kokonatsu finds Hotaru blindfolded on the ground, Shidari wanting to challenge him to Fugashi blind taste test, this being a texture and flavor based contest, with the bonus of handcuffing the person who is eating the candy, they must correctly identify the snack. Kokonatsu is getting the other ideas by this request, especially when she tells him to just stick it in her mouth. Kotonatsu doubts that she actually can taste the difference between candy, but is astonished to see Hotaru's accuracy. When it's Kokonatsu's turn, Hotaru is also impressed by seeing how much he can tell based on the sound and texture. This contest of taste and texture goes on for a while, until they're almost out of Fugashi. So Kokonatsu brings in a secret Fugashi with a long pink coloring, but this one having a more mushier firm texture. Hotaru eating all of it, guessing this rare candy. After this though, the two of them get very thirsty, so Hotaru offers to go get some refreshments, leaving coconuts tied up and blindfolded in the shop, only to have been discovered by his father, leaving his son in shame. 
At Cafe Endo, Shigeru and Toa are sitting and having a conversation until Toa grabs his journal to see what Coconuts is drawing, trying to make sure he got the right proportions for Saya and Hotaru. Shigeru being confused, on the way back, he realizes that he forgot something, that being his journal. Hotaru sees his face and knows that they have to go back and get the item without having Saya find out about it. Hotaru ties her hair back and gets into his sprinter starting position and then gives him a caramel candy, introducing it as Glyco, saying the candy gives enough energy to run back to Cafe Endo. The two of them have a parkour themed run while giving scientific arguments about their running while Kokonatsu is enjoying the view with them using the candy as the only way they can move. When the two of them are within 300 meters, Hotaru runs out of energy with only having one piece of candy left. So she offers him the last piece and gives an emotional speech before collapsing. As Kokonatsu is entering the cafe, he sees that Saya has just now discovered his notebook and is already looking at it, being very angry. Late at night, Hotaru is in the family shop with Yu getting a bag of candy, but the entire scene interpreting what a drug meetup would look like. Kokonatsu comes down to turn on the lights where he's interrupting his father and Hotaru having their fun with them offering him a bottle of Romane if he keeps the meetup quiet, with the two of them continuing to act like they're doing some type of illegal drug trade. Kokonatsu remarks on the snack's apparent addictiveness and agrees it's a nice summer snack. But despite it being a tasty snack, Yo greedily eats all of it, despite it's supposed to be on sale for the customers. So the two of them leave to go fix this problem. In bed, Kokonatsu wakes up to see Yo making a YouTube video, trying to make money based on the ad revenue program. But after hearing how many views he has, Yo gets Kokonatsu to help him out. With Kokonatsu watching his dad to see why he has poor amount of views, and he does notice the problem. This being that he reads from a script and doesn't have anything interesting to say about the baby star ramen. So to fix this, the two of them have a conversation about naming facts about the Takashi's origins, the mascot and other naming conventions while the webcam is still recording them. The next day, the girls see the fruits of their labor and are impressed, with the video racking up tons of views, wanting them to watch it again. The next day, Kokonatsu is low on pocket money and he wants to buy some drawing material. Hotaru walks in and offers to help them, having an idea for the two boys to make some quick money. Coconut questions the idea, saying it sounds like a Ponzi scheme or something fishy. She tells him the prize is hidden somewhere inside the Ottoman wrapper, saying that it rains cash from the sky. Toa is excited, but Kokonatsu knows this won't work, saying the prize is a cash voucher to get more candy. But still, the three of them use internet rumors to make their choices. She goes through this several times without winning anything, continuing to play the game, even though she has never won a candy prize before. With her being noticeably upset with not being able to win a single one, buying so much ramen that Toa is able to actually make a bowl of ramen from it. Hotaru reveals that she has terrible luck at picking, revealing she just wanted to believe she could win. The three of them then play another game of being the sour grape challenge, saying if Kokonatsu loses, he has to take over his dad's shop. Kokonatsu is scared, seeing his life is at stake, but Toa reminds him that Hotaru has never won. However, Hotaru has a secret method of picking this time, because the candy's packaging reveals which one is actually the sour candy, but by double checking it, it's revealed that this pack is a new model, having new packaging. Toa mentioning that Hotaru hasn't come in with a bet yet. Toa remarks that Kokonatsu is betting his future, so he asks Hotaru, what is she betting? And she agrees she'll do whatever the winner wants her to do, with Toa noticing that Kokonatsu was thinking about something dirty just now. The three of them eat a piece of candy, and it's obvious that Hotaru has lost again. Kokonatsu tries to cheer her up, but Hotaru flees crying back to her house. Before Kokonatsu and Toa realize that she never kept her end of the deal, Toa and Kokonatsu meet up discussing wanting to be more popular with women and what it might take. While Sai and Hotaru meet up, Hotaru wondering what love would taste like, with Sai daydreaming about the two girls. Hotaru is talking about the poem surrounding a cherry candy she has. Later at Cafe Endo, Kokonatsu asks if he's keeping Hotaru here, with Sai thinking about something else with a statement, him revealing that the other day, she told him the reason she hasn't left yet on her usual trips is because he hasn't yet taken over the shop. Kokonatsu sympathizing with her. The group reassures him that she has too strong of a will to be tied down. Hotaru walks in, sitting alone, wanting to test Kokonatsu's knowledge on an old caramel candy, which was based on anti-smoking. Afterwards, she walks out in the rain. Kokonatsu chases after her, and after some shenanigans, the two get down to business, with Hotaru revealing that he's way off the mark, saying she's staying because she's having fun here, and saying if she wants to go on a trip, she'll go on one, with her suggesting that the two of them go on a trip together. So this is where we're going to leave off in the video, with this anime being broken down into multiple parts. Now if you like this video, make sure to leave it a like, as well as subscribe to the channel, and I'll be uploading more videos just like this one. So I'll see you next time.